Welcome to the current Southland Museum and Art Gallery to Kneho Ōtū Tanipa. My name's Gemma and I am the team leader of operations here. Museums generally pack collection items for protection and preservation and storage and or transport. In our case here, we are preparing for our collection relocation to our new Tisbury storage facility. In this introductory video, we'll be showing you a range of packing methods. This is Lawrence, a museum and collection technician who will be giving you an overview of the packing times we will be filming. Hello everyone. Okay, so this is a pretty typical conservation box we use in the museum for packing objects and it's made from card and foam, but this one has been specifically modified so that we can easily take out the object. So the front will drop down and then because the object has been put into a tray, we can then easily pull the object out and we can lift the whole object by the tray. Again, this is another typical museum box, but this one is slightly different in as much as we have multiple objects. And so we put them into trays where they stack one upon the other, which utilizes the space much better. And by removing each tray, you can see the next layer below. Now this is a very unusual um, um, and an innovative use of a, a different method, which is the bread tray. And this idea is to use, be able to move large objects, which we don't want to make a box for, um, so that they can be easily transported. And when they get to the new facility, the object can be readily removed and put on the shelf. Okay, this is another example like the bread crate, where we bought something off the shelf, a fish crate, this is very high quality food grade, so it's not going to be damaging at all to the objects. And what we do, we place objects, particularly ceramics, which can easily be broken. We put these in these fish crates and line them with foam, and then the objects are fitted within that, and very easy to transport. This is Rosemary, my work colleague, and her speciality of textiles and packing them, and she's going to show, show you this one particular dress and how she's gone about packing it. Thanks, Lawrence. So the vast majority of the textile collection here at the museum will be packed in acid-free card boxes. Items will be supported by acid-free tissue paper. This isn't a permanent storage solution, but these items must go through our freezer to make sure they're pest-free when they arrive at the new facility. They've been encased in polythene, and all metal bottoms have been covered, so they're safe for the process. Over the next little while, you will be learning more about each packing method, the materials we use for them, and why, so keep tuned. <laughs>